Guys, today I am coming to you with an amazing video and something I've wanted to do for quite a long time, but I just needed the right products in the store. Have you ever been to Dubai? I have with my family and it was amazing. Their supermarkets were so different to the ones in Australia, we absolutely loved it. And the crazy thing was, they are obsessed with chocolate coated dates. In our supermarket, we'll have shapes and we'll have lots of chocolate bars and lots of crackers, but in theirs, they had dates galore. They had dates with chocolate on the outside, they had dates with yogurt on the outside, they had dates with chocolate on the inside, on the outside, with sprinkles, with cream on the inside. They were absolutely amazing and beautiful, and I wish we had more in Australia. But every year when it's Ramadan season, um, in our stores, they bring out a few different items that we normally don't have, and one of them is the chocolate coated date with an almond inside. Now, I wanted to see if I could make a better product than the ones from the store, and you know I can. Mine are gonna taste better, are gonna be a tiny bit healthier, and everyone in my house will say, Danny, you're the man. So let's go, let's see if I can do a better date chocolate. Guys, let's see what the competition is like. Well, we got a little baby packet. Let's see, I was right. We've got a little baby date. We've got an arm inside and chocolate all the way around, which I think is pretty cool. To begin with, look how big mine is. Yeah, I think I know who's gonna be bigger and better. And all we're gonna do for this recipe, you can make it super healthy, have some dairy-free, sugar-free um, chocolate. I've just gone for the regular one. We're gonna make it nice and simple. We're gonna make it nice and beautiful and it's gonna be better than theirs. So I've got some, I went for some white and brown chocolate. I've got some beautiful almonds and we have some salt, just some normal sea salt. And then what I've done already is I've already melted up my chocolate. I've got it in this beautiful little machine. It's just small, but it's absolutely perfect. It's a bit old. I've had it for like 20 odd years. It costs $25 and it just heats up your chocolate. So you don't have to use the microwave. You don't have to use the stove, but you can if you want. But this awesome machine, let's see, you just put the chocolate in there. It's a bit hot and it just melts it and it keeps it melted for you. So you don't have any issues with it going hard or burning. So all I did was put my chocolate into the machine and it heats it up. That's pretty cool, eh? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some almonds. You can put them in the oven if you like. You could roast them in the oven, but I'm gonna do it nice and quick on my fry pan. And I'm gonna put a pinch of salt, just a pinch of salt. You can put some olive oil in there if you like, but um, I don't want them to be too oily when I go into my date. So, and we'll just, there we go. And that will just lightly heat it, okay? So while that is heating, we will get our date and we will get the pip out of them. Now these are medjool dates. So you want the big chunky ones. You don't want the dry ones that you get in the aisle with the blackberries and pineapples that are dried out. You want to get the good chunky dates. So I'm going to cut that in half, well sort of, and I'm just going to get the pip out. So you don't want to eat that. And I'm going to do that to all three. I'm going to do three today. Alrighty. So there we go, and super simple, look at that. Step one, get the pip out, that's pretty cool. Step two, get your almonds on. And step three, get your chocolate happening. It's so simple, guys. So there we go, dates are already got their pips out. Okay, and then all we need to do there, I'll just, this could just go for a couple more seconds. You can do them as, light, as long as you like. You might then want them quite dark, but I don't want them dark at all, okay? I want this to be nice and quick and easy for everyone. So I'm gonna grab my almond and put them inside. It's like it's gone in a little bed, eh? Can't even see it anymore. Oops, it's in its bed. We've got the next almond, put that in its bed. Boop. There we go, it's like they've been put to sleep. And then we have our third one, so there we go. Three almonds already in there. So that is the size difference so far. I think mine is so much better so far. Now, what we're gonna do is I have my trusty spoon and I'm gonna put it in the beautiful brown and white chocolate, okay? So I'm gonna dip it in and then I'm gonna cover it like that. Oh, yummy. You can use whatever chocolate you like. I'm just a fan of white and 
brown chocolate. It's gonna look a little bit different to the ones from the store. There we go, look at that. Color's a little bit lighter because we have the white chocolate in there. I'm gonna get my big bad boy. I'm gonna put him into the chocolate. There we go. Make sure that it's covered all the way around. Two. One more and we're already done, guys. It is so simple. So I know that when you go to the store, it's super simple to pick up a bag of dates and you know just bring it home and eat it. But when honestly, when it takes you know a couple of minutes to make, and hopefully it tastes ten times better, why not? There we go. So we've got three dates. Okay, and it's already done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up this area. I'm going to get the other competitors into the screen, and we're going to have a taste off. Guys, I am ready for the taste test. On my right, we have the little babies that the store provided. They're small, they look all right, then, you know, they're pretty. But look at my bad boys. Mine are, yeah, maybe not the prettiest, but they sure look tasty. Way bigger, chocolate flowing everywhere, and you can tell me which ones look better. So. What we're going to do is we're going to taste the uh, store-bought ones and see how they taste. Mmm. Mmm. They're yum. I can't say they're bad. Mmm. Creamy. The chocolate one is really tasty. Um, they've got good amount of everything. Good amount of almonds to date to chocolate ratio. The ratios are yummy. I'm actually a real big fan of those. But we'll see if mine tastes any better. So I'm gonna go for the big boy. And I just gotta finish my mouthful first. Mm, 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 mm. Yum. Ah, tasty. Alrighty. And let's see how I went. Alright, bigger. Hopefully creamier. The chocolate's a little bit whiter. Let's go. Mmm. Oh yum. Oh. Yeah, mine are better. Mine are fresher. The dates are softer, juicier. Um my ratio is even better. I've got more chocolate, probably a little less almond, and um, a little less date. Mmm, yum. This tastes more like a chocolate bar. Um, this is still lovely, but mine is amazing. So guys, if you like this video, please like it, like our page, and um, maybe I'll do some more food from Dubai too, because these ones taste great. Catch you guys. Thanks.